Hello everyone, welcome to another song reaction. This is taken from my September submissions on r slash Alex Heights. Head on over here if you'd like to post your own song or album reaction suggestions. We're all the way down here. We're doing a replacements track here. Uh, it comes from Let It Be. I have reacted to two singles from this band on my top 10 singles streams that I've been doing. Uh, you can go look up the YouTube live streams playlist or just search it on my channel to see them. I reacted to Swinging Party and Alex Chilton. Uh, I don't quite remember Alex Chilton, but Swinging Party, uh, really great. Love it. I have listened to it a lot. Um, very nice kind of dancey, like slow dancey kind of, I don't quite know how to describe it. Uh, very, very catchy and uh, just Bittersweet, nice, good song. Um, I think I may have heard one thing from this album at one point, but probably not in full. I'll probably do a replacements binge at some point listening to their three big albums, uh, give or take. This is them earlier on when they're a little bit more uh, punky, garagey, kind of a uh, little bit more friction to them before they kind of cleaned up their sound a little bit for Tim, as far as I'm aware. Uh, so 16 blue penultimate track is what we're going to be doing. Uh, guys, if you like the video, be sure to like the video because it helps out the channel immensely. Um, I think we're just going to hop right on into this. If you guys are cool with that, cause I am, here we go. Cut from a very similar cloth as uh, Swingin' Party. Very melodic band. Also, what's his name? Uh, Paul Westerberg. I like his vocal delivery. There's like some kind of like inherent nostalgia in this music. Like it feels 60s, but it's also like very 80s. It's hard to pinpoint exactly what they're getting.
pretty good. Pretty good. I gotta say, um, the more I hear this band, the more I, I really like them. Um, they definitely have, like, I don't know how the other songs on the album really fair but most of what i've heard from them i say would isn't necessarily punky um there definitely is that garage element to it um which like wh who was doing garage before this uh the stooges yeah uh to some degree uh modern lovers too um hmm yeah, I don't know. I, I I just I really like the their music. They they managed to meet at a really nice intersection of pop and rock, and it all works very well with a very pleasant tone that's very accessible, whilst also being um, you know, a, a thinking man's band. <laughs> anyway, that was nice. I like that. If you guys like the video, like the video subscribe do all that stuff like i said before helps out immensely that's all i have for you so until next time everyone godspeed <laughs>